They say Medical Center has 200 employees that have been sent home. Meanwhile, Berkshire Medical Center has 160 employees that have been furloughed for potential exposure to the virus. Berkshire Medical Center Director of Media Relations for Berkshire Health Systems, Michael Leary, tells Western Mass News over the phone that they have a total of 19 inpatient positive coronavirus cases. But out of their employees, he says one employee has tested positive for the virus. With 19 inpatient positive cases, Leary says employees must be furloughed for a 14-day period from the date of the last potential greater than low risk of exposure. And Berkshire Medical Center has 160 employees following that policy right now. A furlough is a leave from work, but Berkshire Medical Center is providing those employees with paid time off if their potential exposure occurred in the workplace. But how does the hospital handle temporarily losing that many employees? Leary says staff from slower areas in the hospital are being redistributed to areas in need. He says Berkshire Medical Center has brought in staff from traveling organizations already and more are set to start next week. But Leary says a majority of the employees furloughed have finished their 14-day self-quarantine and have been returning to work throughout the week. But by Sunday, all but 15 employees will be back. The other 15 employees will return to work sometime next week. Meanwhile, Bay State Medical Center tells Western Mass News over the phone that they have conducted 235 coronavirus tests. Of those tests, 105 came back negative, 6 returned positive, and 125 tests are still pending. Bay State also says they have 200 employees they've asked to stay home due to nonspecific respiratory symptoms. They say that could be due to a number of causes such as the flu, colds, allergies, or viral infections like the coronavirus. The hospital says they have been asked to stay home while they have them tested. We've reached out to Bay State Medical Center for more information, but we're told no one is available. Live in Springfield, Lindsey Kane, Western Mass News.